looking for that platform that fills the communication gap in the agro space i welcome you to another exciting episode of agribusiness weekend it's your girl again joy labaran thank you for joining me on the show now if you know you've not subscribed to our youtube channel i must be asking you then what are you waiting for do subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on all our social media platforms it helps us to expand our family base thank you for joining me on this episode You're still watching Agribusiness Weekend and thank you once again for joining me on this exciting episode today. Now, do you know that agriculture is responsible for almost everything that we take in, including our drugs? Of course. Today, let's give a talk about um, healthy living and wellness. And today on set with me, I have Edith Osadebe, the CEO of Omar Organics. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And thank you me. for coming to the show. Isn't she me. beautiful? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you. Now, I, I, I wanted to edit, I wanted to buttress more on agric health. What does agriculture has to do with our health? You know, when it comes to drugs, I hear people say that agriculture is responsible for even the drugs that we eat. What is the relationship? Actually, man is a product of what he eats. Yeah. If you eat uh, junk food, your system is going to have a lot of problems, which man needs to health issues. Uh, you can also use your food to control your health, in the sense that if you eat good food, quality mm -hmm. food, not just eating the greens and all that, quality greens. Yeah. Uh, your body is going to respond also to whatever you give it. Okay. So in actual fact, man is a product of what he eats. Product of what you eat in terms of your health, in terms of your well-being, in terms of every other thing, your productivity also. So it's, it's, a, it's a fact. You know, sometimes um, I heard, I don't know, I don't know how true it is. I heard that there is a movement for Operation Green. So like everything you eat, they, they should be green. You need like something related to vegetables or something like that yes vegetables are very very important okay uh, you you can't uh, you can't do away with them uh, we we see the cows they eat greens and they're so big they're so mm -hmm. agile and all mm -hmm. that and uh, we eat uh, we see human beings that dedicate their lives those who are vegans or yeah. vegetarians yeah they eat a lot of uh, green they eat mostly greens they are in a, they, are, they, they have the best of health also. Oh wow! And then, um, if you eat food that are not close to nature, because the reason why people talk about greens a lot is that it's really like natural, like the way it was created. Okay. So, uh, man's body, the cells of the body, are able to work with the product of those multivitamins, the bit, uh, all the vitamins and the, and the minerals that Amazing. the food gives you. Wow. But you could also eat things that are not really uh, greens to give you the energy, to give you the uh, major nutrients. Mm -hmm. uh, but in actual fact, man does better with the micronutrients because it's very, very important. And those micronutrients that you find in, in vitamins and minerals, you find it mostly in live greens. Greens are alive. Okay. Yes. So now we have we have some vegetables um, right here on the show. So Edith is going to be um, telling us their names and the health benefits of these vegetables. So which one should we go first? I'm so eager Let to know that. Let me start from the eggplant. Okay. This is the eggplant or the aubergine or brinjal. It or has what? a lot of sorry brinjal. Brinjal. Okay. Uh, it's, it has a lot of names. And uh, this eggplant is very good for those uh, for those who who are on the less carb diet. That's okay. It has uh, as big as it is. It has a very low carb uh, profile, wow. carbohydrate profile. Okay. So those who are on diets like ketogenic diets, those who are diabetic, 
even children who are who have uh, some new, uh, some problems like those who are autistic they don't need too much sugar or too much carbs this is very good it's and the eggplant okay. you can you could fry it you could stew it okay. you could eat it raw like you, yes oh really it's, it's, the, it's in the family of uh, garden egg exactly i wanted to say yes. it looks like yes yes some of these garden eggs you could use I it see. to do beautiful sauces for yam oh wow even with palm oil that was my first experience of it okay using it with palm oil i i i went i visited a place and that was what they said and it was so beautiful so i now came back i started trying it with, with uh, granite oil and other sauces okay so but you could use it for sauces you could stew it you could fry it you could bake it mm. you could do virtually everything with it and also you could also dry it and uh, make it into a powder which you mix it with a, a hox called filling hox. Okay. You because it doesn't have, it doesn't draw like that. Okay. If you, if you, you want to use it to do amala. Okay. You mean so, this? Yes. You can so use it flour, to do amala. Yes. The wow. flour, if you mix it with filling hox, is a fiber. Okay. It's going to make it to uh, hold it, bind it together. Okay. So it makes beautiful amala for you, wow. and with less. Uh, carb profile that wow. you get from yam. So you are eating amala but no yes. carbohydrates. There, there is, but it's just very, very low. Very yes. Okay. So what, what other stuff do we have? So we have the, we have spinach. We have uh, this is red malaba because it, you, we talk of greens, but you find that a lot of the greens, greeny green. Mm -hmm. But we in, in nutrition, we, we tell people to eat the colors eat the rainbow sort of okay so the more rainbow that's colored vegetables you eat the better your diet is because they they have a lot of nutrients okay more or more or some that you will find in, in greeny greens okay. we find it in, in okay so this colors. is spinach so this is spinach this is a red one okay this, this spinach is called malaba okay. so this is red malaba and this is green malaba mm -hmm. so like most of us are used to beetroot okay mm. but actually the greens of the beetroot is a very important part of our should be a very important part of our, our diet because in actual fact whatever this plant the, the beetroot has everything is contained also in the leaves and we just throw the leaves away the leaves you could use it for salads you could use it for so many stuff wow you know you eat this we have so much food to eat but in Nigeria, we eat just a few, yeah, okay. which is really not, uh, which okay. is really not it. The, we throw away the part where we, the carrots that we eat, the leaves, for instance. You mean that they, green substance? Yeah. The, the carrots, yes. the carrots we eat, yes. we eat the roots, mm -hmm. and we throw away the leaves. Okay. But the leaves are just like the carrot. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. And if you don't have stuff like parsley to to put in your food as spices or as herbs, you could use the carrot leaves. You could use the carrot tops to design your food, to add color to your food. To I, I use it in salads a lot when I when I grow wow. carrots. Wow! Wow! I actually, I love to grow carrots for the leaves. Okay. More than the roots. Oh, really? Yes. For me, I just enjoy the roots. Like th that's all I know. I just uh, enjoy the roots. Need, and... if, if you grow it, you you should you you, you should enjoy. It. That, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing one here. This looks like the green beans I see in fried rice boil. I don't know why this one uh, is longer. This is actually long beans. This particular beans is called this. You know, the fact is that every vegetable has a name. It very, some like tomato, there are about more than 1,000 varieties, just like beans and okay, all that. Okay. This particular beans is called uh, a jita. It's okay. a long beans. So to you, now, now that sounds like the jita we play. No, no, no. Some of you one. can relate. This one is G-I-T-A. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so this one, you can cut it any size you want. Okay. If I want to do fried rice, okay. I could cut it oh, like this, okay. small. Okay. I, maybe, probably, I will use a knife. Okay. If I want to do stir fry, I just don't want to be fussy about anything. I could do like this. Okay. I could cut it any like, length I want. Just put it in the tiny oil just spray my pan with oil add uh, garlic 
everything. And I add it. To go. And my food is ready. You know, I've been wanting to know the health benefits of this. I think this is my opportunity. What is the health benefits of this? It's a, it's loaded with protein. You know, it, this is beans. Okay. Yes. And this is fresh, so okay. it's not. For those who also who are on ketogenic diet, the carb content of beans of fresh beans is very low. So okay. it's low on the index okay. of food you can eat. So they could also those who are uh, those who are ready, who don't want starchy beans. Okay. Like the the, like, the drier the beans, the more starchy it has. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So okay. this is harvested fresh. So we treat it as fresh beans. Well, actually, we use it in our egg. We use it in our Indomie, yeah, Indomie, mm -hmm. spaghetti, pasta, rice, yam. If I'm doing something like uh, this, uh, yam we do with oil, okay. You just Orange add yam. it, I just add it, it adds a different color to it, makes it look because I actually I don't like dog food, I okay. like colorful food. Okay, so. that, that's that's amazing. So, so, are there more you want to show us? Yes, we also do have herbs instead of using a lot of and um, spices, instead of using a lot of chemicals, additives to your food. Uh, this is uh, this is this is celery. Mm -hmm. What we have here is gre actually green celery. Okay. We also have in the farm we have red celery. And you can you so so how do you process this? You add it to your food or you just or cut you just... it and add to your food. So it's sort of is a spice. It, it, let me use the term that people understand because like when pain. I say when I say herb, people used to think I'm talking about medicine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of medicinal value. value okay, but it's basically used for culinary purposes okay for cooking okay so if you want to take your food to the next level you need to add herbs and the herbs you buy commercially produced herbs have a lot of addictives which are not good for really good for you okay let me give you an instance of addictives when we buy zobo in the market yeah they actually sell flavors. F those flavors they sell. If you read the back of those flavors and sweeteners, they're mm. always in, in smaller packets. Yes, yes. If you read it in very tiny lines, you will see some addictives in those flavors that actually are not too good for us. Okay. Because they, some of them have aspartamine, some of them have some other kind of stuff that. But, but th that flavor read, is what makes the zobo sweet. No, that's not what makes the zobo sweet. So it ha actually causes cancer, and the labels they are labeled on, they are on the labels, but they are on very fine, tiny characters, which nobody bothers to read. Mm. They write prolonged use of this causes cancer. Oh wow! Yes, or causes health effect has some dangerous health effects but nobody bothers to read it because actually they are very so are you, are you trying to say so if you want to use zobo okay in my house we okay. do zobo we love it we use lemon we use organic products okay as flavors we use lemon balm is a herb okay it has a lemony taste okay and it's in the mint family we use mint we use lemongrass Okay. Uh, yes. If you if you want, you can also put dates to sweeten, or you use sugar to sweeten. It's even better to use sugar to sweeten than, than to use artificial. Than uh, those artificial sweeteners they sell in the market with the flavors. And you know the problem we have. Two mothers in in Nigeria see Zobo as a healthy alternative. Yes. To a lot of bottled Can't sodas. Drinks, yeah. So they do it for their kids. So imagine a child that keeps drinking Zobo in the next 20 years, 30 years. The child will start having organ failures. Mm. And you think it's from somewhere. Mm. You don't, if you, you, you can't trace it to that. But if you do actually trace it, then we know that we're actually not knowing, we are unknowingly feeding our kids with poison. Wow. Yes. All right. It's so food is very important. I also want to show you this, another one. Herb. This is uh, 
parsley. Parsley. Yes. Okay. It's also good. It's also a herb or spice or seasoning. Then here we have uh, red basil, and we have uh, uh, lemon basil. All these are used for cooking. Mm. In my house, actually. <laughs> You, 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 this is what we used to cook and those who are health conscious too they have to cook with that's what they also used to cook this is this is nice this is nice although I, i'm still i'm still trying because i don't know i i, I imagine how it will look like you know, you know just gathering my foods with all these vegetables there are many things that work with some dishes for instance if you are cooking uh fish if you use lemongrass it, it, that fish takes another level. Oh, really? It takes a heavenly out of space kind of experience. You, you, you wouldn't, you, you know, some people don't like to eat fish because of fishy smell. Yes, yes. They've not eaten fish made with lemongrass. Actually, people from the uh, Delta area, uh, Worry side, they do cook a lot of fish with lemongrass. Wow! So, lemongrass is really very good. The way you are talking, that you are a very good cook. I love to eat, mm. and you could see it. Mm -hmm. I can see it. And the and and cooking led me to to gardening. I'm, okay. I'm gardening to farming. Okay. Because I don't always get what I want. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of getting the the quality food, because actually what we grow is strictly organic we okay. use organic inputs okay like organic uh manure compost pesticides which we which are which are close or we also do what is called natural farming methods okay there are so many principles behind wow. natural farming yeah. methods which we also incorporate in our in, in in growing our food so we don't use chemical pesticides and we don't use chemical chemical fertilizer because some of them are actually toxic and some of them have been banned. Okay. And but you still find farmers using, using them. It. Using them because there is no regulation. All right, I've learned so much today. I don't know about you, but let's take a short break. When we come back, the show continues. Don't go anywhere. Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Madedo. I, I am at the Agribusiness Weekend show. And I would want to encourage you all to keep watching and click on the red button to subscribe. Welcome back. Edith is still on set with us. So I have this, um, she says it's a tea, right? Yes. Now, Edith, what kind of tea is this? I've never seen this. This is actually mulberry tea. Mulberry tea. They are produced from the mulberry, the leaves of the mulberry tree. Okay. We The mulberry tree produces berries, which we eat. Okay, I know berries. And uh, it also produces, the leaves is packed with, it has 10 times the calcium content of milk. Really? Yes. Okay. And 25 times the fiber content of spinach. So because in Asia, they actually use it to cook soups. Okay. And they eat the leaves. So you can use this to make soup? Yes, but basically what we produce this, thing, this one for is tea. And actually, the Chinese have been drinking, the Chinese people have been drinking this tea for more than 3,000 years. Wow. So wait, wait, so wait, how how can someone make this tea? Do, do you just take the tea and put it inside put it inside a pot of water mm -hmm. then you boil it for five minutes. you bring it down and I like to steep for another five to eight minutes. Okay. then you sieve it okay and drink your tea. Okay. Well done. I, I, no, no, no. You, you, well done. You, you're, you're just exceptional. Well done. Oh really? <laughs> All right, you. so before you go, I want us to have a game, a game section. So, um, I, I have 10 questions on my list. So, no, 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 you're not going to be answering 10 questions. <laughs> okay. So, I want you to pick randomly from number one to number 10. Just pick three questions randomly. So, we'll take them one after the other. Two. Okay, let me, let me ask you two. 
Number two, okay, thank God she does things about vegetables. I am an object. Let's do it. I'm an object. I'm red inside and I'm green outside. What am I? Red inside. And I'm green outside. And green outside. <sighs> okay. Mm. I have no. Like me, you have no clue. Red inside and green, green outside. Mango. Mango? Mango, red inside? Mango can be red inside and green outside. Oh my god. Oh they my are, god. Yes. They are. Um, wait, wait, wait. Red inside. There is no mango red inside and green outside. Really? All mangoes red inside are actually red outside. No, 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 no. Haven't you eaten this? Mango that is round like this. Mango is not a round or blown. Uh, apart from that, there are other varieties of mango that are red inside and green outside. And green outside. Yes. Okay. You don't go there. Uh, <laughs> my answer here is watermelon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me get your second question. Your second number. Four. Number four. Where is the most beautiful place you've ever visited? Uh, that's the top one. The most beautiful place. Um, I don't know, maybe it's because of the experience. Okay. Um, my village, one. Oh, really? My okay. Village, my village is Healy. So, wh where are you from? I'm from Opo, Navy South. Okay. They, they, there's a saying that a vehicle will go to my village, but it will tell the story. Hmm. So you can't just be walking. You don't even know you're walking on the hill. And there's so many rocks there. There's so many rivers. There's so many streams. It's, so, so you get to see so many things when you. Yes, get there. it's it, it, it's really it's really it's, it's an it's if you really take the time, if you take the time, you could go, go maybe you are going to the stream. You you pick. You pick berries, you pick fruits, mm -hmm. white fruit. And my husband's village, which is where my mom is from, they have this uh, stream, and the stream they built the stream is down, and they and people live up, so they build steps. The step is like is like I don't know, maybe it's up to hundred steps. I don't know. I I, th I think, I think I, we when need I, to come to your village and do when it. When we were young, when I was young. When I was small and I visited my grand aunt, mm -hmm. I, I went to the stream. Oh my God. And they put a tap and they put, they built a well. They, no, they built a, um, like, I don't know, tank. The tank is very high. And if, if you want to bathe, at the time, the, the, it will be filled. Then you go to the back. Okay. Then I, I, what you are just saying, is, uh, I, um, it's like you are building, you are painting a picture in my mind of what what it looks like. <laughs> and in my village, it's crazy because we have the both the springs. We have the is a crazy place. That means it's a beautiful place. Yes, and it's you really, love it's the really, place. It's, re it's really beautiful. If you take the time to walk it, no, not drive by yeah. and all that. You. Take, you take the roads, you take the let somebody that knows the place take you. We have too much streams and waters and up and down. Now you're making me feel jealous. Excuse me, you're making me feel jealous. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right, so let's get your last question. Six. Number six. Yes. Okay. Say a parable in your dialect and give us the meaning. Hmm. Maybe I should say this on that uh, I just said now. No, 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 no. Say another parable. Uh, I'm not a parable person now. It might be a. In your dialect. In my dialect. Ha, don't even go there. That one is even. <laughs> when they laugh at me that I can't speak, well, I don't need to say that it's borrowed. Because <laughs> I just borrowed it. Okay, so you want to borrow a parable? <laughs> Please borrow a parable. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, karaka. Hmm. That means a discussion we've had. Mm -hmm. You 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 acknowledge it with a nod of the head. There's no need talking again. So that's the conclusion. I acknowledge it yes. with a nod of my head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
thank you so much, Edit, for coming. Thank you so much. Really had a great time. I just, I just, my prayer is that uh, Nigerians will take their own health into their hands mm -hmm. to know that you, even if you don't have, you don't need to have a farm for you to produce part of what you eat. Mm -hmm. You can use bags, you can use... And funny enough, some of these things are not really expensive, right? Yes. You can use bags, you could use um, containers, you could use sacks, you could plant anywhere. So the fact that your la your your compound is cemented or whatever is no is no is no is not is no a reason not to garden. And you could also do a vertical farming, which by you don't use you don't do very horizontal, you go up. Okay. Which means on a small sack you could have a lot of plants growing on, on vertical uh, oh, towers or vertical platforms. You could grow a lot of food within um, a, a very small space. There's actually something that people call about high intensive farming, whereby you farm, you produce a lot of things on a very small square foot or very small area. So Thank people you so don't much. have reason. You should just take your life. I'm pretty your sure our viewers today have learned so much about um, um, healthy living and wellness. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Team. Thank you. And on behalf of I and the team, we want to give you this package. Oh, really? To say thank you for coming. Thank and you. Thank you for, for, for teaching us how to take care of our health. Thank you so much. It's been a delight talking to you. Thank you. All right, so we've come to the end of today's episode of Agribusiness Weekend. Thank you so much for staying tuned with me till this very time. Till I come your way next time, follow us on all our social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Help us to expand our family base. I love you and do have a great weekend. Bye for now.